So I went to my doctor a few months ago to get my annual checkup, which I haven't been in a few years because of COVID and just haven't gone. So, but I finally went a few months ago and my doctor asked me, uh, have you gotten a colonoscopy yet? I'm like, no. He goes, do you want me to schedule one for you? I'm like, no, not really. So he gave me another option, which was to do Cologuard, which is what this is. They mail this box to you. So I'm gonna do a quick unboxing, show you what's in the box. And uh, I'm not gonna give you a demonstration on how it works. I'm gonna maybe, uh, you know, talk you through it a little bit, but I'm not gonna show you exactly. So this is the box that it comes in. You open it up, has some, uh, the guide. You, uh, you know, shows you how to do it. It's pretty thick too, a lot of information. So let's open this thing up. And uh, so you keep this in the box, keep this little plastic uh, Ziploc thing in the box. When you open that up, there is this thing, which, uh, so this sits on the toilet seat. So you raise the toilet seat up, you sit this down, and then you put the toilet seat back down. This is what you poop in, basically. So this goes down in here like this, and you sit it, and then you do your business inside this. This is the lid for it. Of course, you gotta have a lid. There's also this liquid. So after you do your business in this, which when you do your business, you don't wanna have any urine or toilet paper in here, so you need to do what you need to do, and then uh, close it up and pour this in there. So after you do what you do in here, you pour this in here, you close it up. But before you do this part, there is this little, uh, uh, it almost looks like an eyelash you know, brush. And you're supposed to grab, you're supposed to take this and sort of uh, scrape, scrape some, and then you put it down in here and you close this back up. Put it back in the box. This is what the box looks like on the inside. It has a place to put everything back where it goes. I guess you throw this away, because once you pour this in there, you just chunk that. Do not drink it. They say do not drink it. I don't know who would want to drink this, but there's a warning, do not drink this. So after you've done everything you need to do, close it all back up, you put it in here, and then you take it to UPS. Now we just wait to do, uh, you know, what I need to do before I ship this off this afternoon. Okay, so once you're done doing what you gotta do, uh, there are some labels here that you have to put your name, birthday, and the date of collection and time. So you peel those off, wrap it around, put it on this thing, I think. Yeah, put it on that. This goes back in the box. There's a little place for it to go. Do the same for this. Put it on there. Put it back in the box. Seal it up. Put all that back in there. And uh, so. And that was not as easy as you would think it would be. But, I did it. And then you peel this off, pull that up, and there is the return label underneath. And uh, close it up, pull this little sticky thing off, close it up, and I think we're good to go. So. This goes to uh, UPS. Oh, UPS next day. So. Anyway, hope this helps some. If you're, uh, you know, if you don't want to get a colonoscopy, this is another, uh, you know, another way to do it. And then you get the results back. I don't know, I can't remember what it says. Four to six weeks, maybe. And if they see any signs of, you know, anything fishy in your poop, then uh, I guess you have to still have to go get a colonoscopy. But this is a sort of a first step. So anyway, thanks for watching this video and I hope it helps.